Today we're going to start talking about annuities. The key to annuities is that we're taking a compound interest problem and we're adding a payment. What is an annuity? I'm going to write out this definition and then read it out loud. An annuity is a sequence of payments at regular intervals for a set time. And to make it easier, all the payments are equal. Let's go straight into a few examples. One example is saving. So what if I put $100 a month into the bank for three years? That's one example. How about another example? I'm living off of credit and every year or every semester, that's twice a year, or semi-annually, I am going to borrow $5,000 for living expenses. This is a particular example of what we call accumulation. The key here is that the balance is growing. It gets bigger every month. So my bank balance is higher every year, every month. And my debt is growing. So every six months, my debt is a little bit bigger. Let's look at some more examples of a different type of annuity. Uh, I have a mortgage of $300,000. Every month, I pay $2,000. And here's a second one. I saved money to take a year off. Every quarter, that's four times a year, I take $6,000 out of savings and in this case I have a second kind of annuity. This is called an amortization. Big fancy word which we're going to see a lot of but the gist is the balance is shrinking. It gets smaller every month, every period. So here, my debt is lower every month. So every time I make a payment, I have less money owing on my mortgage. In the second example, my bank balance is shrinking by $6,000. And that was a misspelled bank, bank balance is shrinking. So those are two kinds of things. Accumulation, growing, amortization, shrinking. Two kinds of mortgages. Mortgages are divided into even more type of things. So let's look at when the payment happens. If it's at the end of the month, or the end of the quarter, or the end of the year, we call that an ordinary annuity because ordinarily we pay at the end of the month. Oops. So here we have end goes with ordinary. We also have beginning. So in this one, actually, let's give an example. I pay my credit card bill at the end of the month.
Usually when you're paying back money, you pay back at the end because it seems silly to pay back the day that you borrow it. When we have the beginning of the month, we call that an annuity due. Beginning due, and you can call that a begin annuity, even though it's technically called an annuity due. And often with a savings program, the day you decide to start saving, you actually start saving. That's the day I'm gonna put the money in, and that means it's going to be begin. I'm gonna put this in to show you the calculator buttons, and this will make more sense a little bit later when we talk about how to do this. Okay, we've got one more step to go over, and that's how often do I compound? And how often do I pay? So PY, we've seen this before, this is payments per year. And CY, we're gonna go over this in your calculator, that's compounding periods per year. In a simple annuity, those things are the same. So I deposit monthly in my bank account, Interest is compounded monthly. That's the easiest type. That's why we call it simple. Then we've got general. The opposite of simple is general. And those things are different. And in the end of this unit, we're gonna see a lot of uh, mortgages. Mortgages compound semi-annually in Canada, but usually people pay monthly. So those are the different types of uh, annuities. By now you've seen me write this down a lot of times. These are the things that go on that TVM row of your calculator. I'm just gonna quickly show that we've got this TVM button row here that we've seen when we talked about compound interest. PY is gonna be the payments per year. So how many times per year do we pay? And this is the compounding. So this is the M from JM. It's how many times we compound per year. N is the number of payments. This we're going to get to. When PY and CY are different, N is a little bit harder to do. We're gonna talk about that in the next lesson. IY is the nominal rate, same as it was in compound interest rate. Present value is, well, that's the balance at the beginning. I'm gonna put a little plus sign here to say when the present value is positive, the payment is going to be positive when we accumulate and negative when we amortize. So balance growing, it's a plus, balance shrinking, it's a negative. And in this case, the future value is always going to be negative. Just to make things complicated, we can always do it the opposite way. So we could say, that if you wanted to say your debt was a negative at the beginning, then you'd add a plus because you're digging yourself out of that hole. And in that case, every single thing is opposite. Begin. When begin is off, that's the ending mode. And begin is on, and that is the begin mode. And we're gonna go over that and how to use that on the calculator later.